Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 14th of September. In our members area here uh, for our stock scanner memberships, we give our members downloadable spreadsheets every single day for potential long and short fifth wave trades on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. Fifth wave trade, remember, is the highest probability move in an Elliott wave sequence and a trend. So as you can see here, long fifth wave trades on the right, short fifth wave trades and some bonus stochastic long and short trade signals as well. I'm going to be looking at longs today. So very, very simple for the 14th of September today. Click on the image, download the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet for today looks something like this. This is a 60 minute time frame. I'm going to go for a 60 minute again today on HD, Home Depot. Uh, but at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see the daily and the weekly tabs as well there. Potential fifth wave moves on those time frames. So let's have a look at it on the chart. Okay, so this is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Think or Swim trading platform. This is HD on the hourly chart. We've just had a recent low down here uh, on a pullback on the daily. It's been going very, very strong, making all-time highs. And then over the last um, while, it's just, um, just pulled back a little bit now. And we are now looking for um, it to continue its main trend. Uh, this is the all-time high up here. Last two days we've pulled back on the 60 minute and now we're looking to go along again. Uh, first of all, for those that have the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, you can isolate down at these lows here. Uh, we're at 19109 or indeed after this very range bound period over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days really, that's not a trend. Isolate on the low just before we start to move up. It's this big move that we're interested in and the profit taking against that. So let's pull back now to see where we are with the pullback and go through the basic filters for our stock scanner membership. So on HD, on the 60 minute, we have the first of our filters, which is the wave four. This is a pullback against the main trend. Uh, this has happened over probably three days or something like that. But we can see now we've found support into our amber zone. So this is a this zone gives us an 80% probability. If it starts to move away from there, 80% probably it's going to go and hit our automated target zone here, and make some all-time highs around about $218 there. So that's the first filter that we've had a pullback against the main trend on a wave four on this time frame. Uh, the next filter is the top subchart here, which is the 535 oscillator. This measures the performance of the wave four. The wave four has pulled back between 90 and 140% of the highest point on the oscillator there. So really good uh, looking uh, pullback there. And then finally, again, we're looking at the pullback against the main trend. So this stochastic at the bottom has got a false breakout bar, part of our early wave in indicator suite, giving us a strong bullish move. Once the stochastic pulls back against there, it's like pulling back against an elastic band. The likelihood is it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So we're going to turn back up again. So this is how we build the picture for these high probability fifth wave moves on different time frames. <coughs> Entry, uh, quite simple. We want to definitely be above the high of yesterday. We want to be outside of our 6-4 moving average high, which is part of our indicator suite for the entry strategies for the first hour's bar position, which we are here. And also, I just want to get above this shoulder here because I don't want to be getting caught in a head and shoulders pattern here. So I want to make sure I'm above this uh, for an entry. So sensible entry, 211.75. Stop loss below the wave for about 208.57. That gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.8 in the middle of our target zone there. Now, because we've got a great risk to reward there, you could go a little bit more conservative on your entry, something like above uh, $212, um, just to make sure that we've, we've cleared any head and shoulder type pattern forming there. But I'm going to go reasonably aggressive if it does move up from this wave for low and beach yesterday's high there's a good chance it's going to continue to go there so that's it for today uh, really really simple our stock scanner membership gives all potential fifth wave moves on lots of different time frames 
and these are very simple to set up we've got the wave 4 pullback let's just measure it let's use our indicator suite just to make sure we're in a good probability pullback zone which it is here and then let's just measure the behavior of that wave 4 with our 535 oscillator and our false breakout stochastic there and then it's just a matter of setting up a sensible entry strategy 211.75 long for me on HD stop loss around about 208.57 and then your targets around about $218 so greatest reward simple setup uh, and that's what we're about at wave 5 trade we are looking for those fifth wave moves and trying to make Elliott wave theory simple so that's it for today have a great trading day a great weekend and I'll speak to you all next week